federal judge to Albany tax collectors. Not yet. Good evening, I'm Leah Lando. U.S. District Judge Richard Arcara granted Indian retailers a two-week reprieve from New York cigarette tax collections. But News 4's Milos Hairston reports this tax battle is just firing up. Cigarettes are selling fast on the Cattaraugus Reservation. Non-Native Americans can buy them tax-free for at least two more weeks. I honestly think that they should leave the Indians alone. The court battle over New York State's plan to tax smoke sold on reservations to non-Indians is not over. The federal court ruling late Tuesday afternoon gave the Seneca Nation and its customers a two-week reprieve. The state of New York has overstepped their bounds again for whatever they're trying to do against the Seneca Nation, and especially that's the McHugh. All along, New York has been the aggressor on this issue from day one. And they continue to be their aggressor. Aggressive in large part because of the state's ongoing budget problems. It's estimated the tax of $4.35 per pack could net the state an extra $200 million a year. For one non-Indian smoker? Was it a major concern that uh, the state might start collecting taxes? Uh, not really. We'll keep, probably keep from smoking, though. Retailers are hustling to keep up with the demand. Katie Stang says she and her fellow Native Americans are fed up with this issue. I think it has less to do about the whole cigarettes thing and more to do with the fact that the government is breaking a treaty that was signed many years ago. This is the mindset of Albany and the mindset of this government is to eliminate and terminate us as a people, not only socially, but economically. Now the talk is tough, but the court battle is much tougher. The state and Seneca's will be back in federal court on Thursday. Meanwhile, at least one rally of support is set for tomorrow morning on the reservation. Miles Hairston for the 10 o'clock news.